Oh my gosh. Well, this is not exactly how I was thinking we were going to be starting the video out, but uh, we got ourselves a level 5 reindeer right there. So recently, I've been having a lot of problems with moose not really respawning. They've literally just stopped respawning in the main zones, and then after killing a few other animals, they will start respawning again. It's been a very strange situation. It all started when one day, eight of my shootable moose stopped coming back to the need zones that I had been shooting them in, and after about a hundred more kills, they still weren't returning, so I decided to start asking around, and a few people were telling me that I should shoot something else for a little bit, and see if it does anything to kind of make the moose come back to their zones and respawn properly. And well, lo and behold, I shot a few reindeer for our Christmas Day special video, and the next day I got back to moose grinding, and about 20 moose showed up in all of our main zones. It was honestly quite insane to see that many of them just randomly show up. And it made it so that I had to uh, kind of rethink the entire grind. And well, we've kind of ran into that issue once again where moose weren't respawning properly and I wasn't getting as many of them as normal. So I decided to hunt some more reindeer. And after a couple runs of shooting some reindeer, this guy right here has spawned. So we've got ourselves a chance to take down a level five medium reindeer. However, I don't have the proper gun on me, so we're gonna have to go grab that, and also I think there might be a lynx near because they are all going alerted. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a problem, so we're gonna have to go ahead and probably reset the time so that the lynx is not in the area. The lynx have been an issue ever since they gave them the same drink time as the reindeer, and this situation is absolutely no different. Well, there's the culprit right there. Let's go ahead and take this down real quickly just so it will not spook off any of our reindeer. And uh, we're not going to claim it yet because if I claim it, it'll just respawn once again and start spooking them off. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then reset the time and hopefully this uh, reindeer will come back and not be spooked. Though, eh, it's not looking like it. It's not looking like it at all. There it is, there's that beautiful reindeer. Let's go ahead and sneak up on it and try to take this beauty down with the 270 Warden. I figured that would be a cool gun to use on it. As uh, recently, I have been using some different guns than normal to take down some of the trophies on Medved. And uh, that's going to lead up to the Great One Moose number three towards the end of this video. As you guys know, about uh, maybe two weeks ago at this point, I posted a video saying that Great One Moose number three had spawned and that I was going to hold off on shooting it until we got confirmation as to whether or not the fur type bug was going to be fixed and what type of uh, stuff would happen if they did fix it. But unfortunately, they didn't really tell us anything. There's been no information as to whether or not they're going to fix the fur type bug in the lodge. So I decided to take it out on Christmas Day. And uh, that's what this video is going to be about. But we happened to find this level 5 reindeer as I was searching around to uh, try and get some of my moose to respawn again. And uh, yeah, well, now we got this to take down. So let's try to do it. Let's see if we can maybe get this thing to turn for us real quickly. And there we go. It's alarmed though. That's not good, but I think we can get it still. That should be a dead reindeer right there. Well, there it is. There's that beautiful reindeer. Let's hope that this thing ends up making diamond. Uh, there's a good chance that it won't as reindeer troll a lot. And this one was a little bit wonky, so I don't have too much faith that it's going to make it. So let, let's see. Is this a diamond reindeer? Wow, it actually is! Um, I did not expect that to make it. Not gonna lie, I was totally ready to be disappointed. That's a diamond reindeer. That, that is awesome. That is not something I expected to find today. I thought for sure this guy was gonna troll as he is a little bit wonky looking. I mean, maybe not as wonky as I originally thought, but he's definitely not perfectly symmetrical. I mean, maybe he is. Maybe my eyes deceived me, but... Either way, that's really cool. I really did not expect to be finding a diamond reindeer just from shooting some reindeer to hopefully see if it would fix my moose respawns. It looks like it it may not have fixed the moose respawns, but it got us a diamond reindeer and that is at least something. Let's go and tax this guy real quickly as that is a beautiful looking diamond reindeer and it's honestly difficult to get these things. The majority of them troll, so the fact that we got this one to make it is amazing. And this actually brings us to another encounter with a diamond that we had recently. It was actually about three weeks ago when I was grinding for our first Great One Moose. 
We ended up running into a pack of wolves that ended up attacking me and well one of them happened to be a level 9 and while we show the footage for this level 9, I wanted to real quickly talk about something that I feel is important to mention since a lot of people will ask me a question about this during the live streams and I figured it was a time that we talked about it here in a video so a lot of people have been interested in the stacking of great ones recently which is basically where you don't shoot the great one when it spawns and you keep grinding until another one of them spawns so that you have two on your map sometimes even more if you're willing to wait that long and we used to do this on the live streams this was something that we did as a bit of fun to try and do something a little bit different making it so that things weren't the exact same every single grind but to be honest at this point I've kind of got over it it's not really been as enjoyable the last time that we ended up stacking a great one so I think I'm going to quit stacking great ones it's just not been that exciting to me anymore it kind of takes away from the whole experience of finding a great one and makes it so when you finally do shoot it it's really not as exciting as it could have been so from now on every great one that we find we are going to shoot it the second that it spawns to kind of I guess keep up the hype from when it spawns however there is still one video that I have not uploaded that involves stacking some great one whitetail so I will end up uploading that video but that will be the last that you will see of stacking great ones on the channel because to be honest it's just not fun anymore and I always try to do things that I enjoy on the channel if you see me making content on something it's because I enjoy it that's why we do the content that we do here on the channel if I didn't enjoy it I wouldn't be doing it so we're gonna stick to the stuff that I enjoy as well as doing some of the stuff that you guys enjoy watching as always like the uh, multiplayer hunt that we did yesterday because I feel like as long as you guys are enjoying it and I'm enjoying it then that is the content that I want to be making and that guy dropped his head right as I shot that's a little bit unfortunate but you know what it is what it is so stay tuned for tomorrow's video as it is going to be a pretty insane one with some really awesome looking great one whitetail but it's probably going to be like I said the last uh, stacked great ones video you see on the channel as it's not been as enjoyable for me as I expected it to be it was fun the first time it was fun the second time but ever since then it's just kind of been I don't know it almost feels like it's been played out it's not really enjoyable for me anymore and it really is just uh, not as exciting to take them down when you leave them on your map for an extended period of time so we will be taking them all on the spot from now on this right here is a very good looking moose and to be honest this could make diamond but it probably won't yeah it just fell a little bit short that is very unfortunate almost made it but to be honest I've been getting more moose scoring between 270 and 274 than actual diamonds it's been pretty brutal this entire grind the majority of level fives have been trolls and then we've had quite a few of these fours that just barely miss diamond we haven't had a lot of diamonds compared to other grinds so it's been pretty brutal but I mean can't really complain as we have had three great ones and that definitely surpasses and uh, kind of makes up for the amount of trolls that we have had throughout the grind but anyway now that we have gone over all the stuff I wanted to talk about and we have shown off that diamond reindeer as well as the diamond wolf let's jump into the kill on great one moose number three and uh, we decided to do it with the 454 don't mess it up I will try my best don't worry I, I don't think wind affects the bullets of handguns so uh, we should be fine <laughs> yeah we uh should we should be fine let's get this beast on the ground don't miss I will I will do my best banks I will do my best should be fine yes unless the wind like uh, makes my bullet do a loop around him and then come back and hit me we should be fine we are pretty much close enough now but I do want to get a little bit closer since we're gonna be using iron sights I don't necessarily trust a uh, iron sights at 75 meters on a great one We've seen what happens when Crow overestimates his abilities. So, uh, yeah. Here we go. He's going down. Great one, Moose. Number three is finally down after a couple weeks of waiting to see if we would have any news on the fur type bugs and stuff like that. But with no news in sight, and it being Christmas Day, we decided it was time to take him down. And there he goes. 
He's on the ground with the Sunberg at 50 meters. What a way to take down a great one, number three. That is beautiful. Oh, we got to do it, guys. We got to do it. You ready? Music. On. <laughs> the way it glitched out was... <laughs> uh, I didn't know taxing it would glitch out the music. Uh, that's unfortunate, but still cool. We got great one number three down. It was almost max weight as well. 695.38. I believe 700 is max weight. But there he is. Our third great one moose is down and finally can go into the lodge and... Maybe we'll be able to get ourselves another great one today. It's been about 300 kills since our last one. So, maybe, maybe we'll get another today. Moose seemed to pop pretty quickly. That is a beauty, though. Absolute beauty of a moose. And the penetration on the 454 is actually pretty crazy good. Look at that. That is nasty. Wow. Wow shredded him now that you guys have seen that amazing great one moose let's go ahead and take a look at him here in the lodge this is the most recent great one that we took down on christmas like i said it was uh, one that we had had on our map for about a week at the time of taking him down and it was uh, once again a quad paddle common it's been unfortunate that we have been getting these quad paddle commons as this is my least favorite rack and common is by far the least impressive fur type. Obviously, I'm not trying to be ungrateful. I just really wish that I could get my favorite fur type on one of these moose with my favorite rack and I have yet to get either. This by far right here is my favorite of our great one moose and uh, it's definitely the most impressive looking one. Such an insane rack and it really just makes this one look like a normal moose in comparison. It, it's kind of crazy, but it is awesome to have three great one moose. This is a really stunning looking wall, but hopefully in the future we can get ourselves a great one moose with a special fur type. I'd love to get the fabled birch if possible with the big typical rack with the long tines. That is my dream combination. And that is what we're grinding for right now. Our fourth grind is currently over a thousand kills without getting great one number four. So. We're hoping that it'll happen soon. Moose take a lot longer to kill, so those thousand kills have taken over a week of consistent grinding to get, and uh, it's been it's been tough. But that's part of what is making these moose so much fun is the fact that they are so tough, and it takes a lot of uh, strategy to get them to be consistent and to get them to uh, give you the trophies. It really does take a lot of work, and uh, I think that is what has made them so much fun for me. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is going to be it for this video. Again, tomorrow is going to be a video on some great one whitetail we killed over a month ago, but I just didn't have time to upload it until now. So stay tuned for that. It should be a crazy video with some of the craziest shots we've took on great ones really ever. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to show that to you guys. I am hoping that you will all love it. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.